What's up, everybody? Welcome to Clown World News. We're talking about Donald Trump. Uh, an audio file has been released about Donald Trump saying he was downplaying the COVID. He was intentionally downplaying the threat of COVID. And, you know, the mainstream media is going crazy for it. So let's look at it. Let's let's talk about it. So here we have the actual clip. Let's listen to it. Now it's turning out it's not just old people, Bob. But just today and, and yesterday, some startling facts came out. It's not just old, older yeah, exactly. young people. to plenty of young people. So you, what is going on give in me a, a, a moment of talking to somebody, going through this with Fauci or somebody who kind of uh, it caused a pivot in your mind because it's clear just from what's in on the public record that you went through a pivot on this to oh my god the gravity is uh, almost inexplicable and unexplainable well I think Bob really to be honest with you sure, I want you to I be. wanted to uh, I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. Yes, sir. Because I don't want to create a panic. So that clip right there, without much context, I mean, they're saying that that's Trump admitting that he's downplaying the severity of COVID and all that jazz and whatever. But this is, uh, you can take it all the grain of salt, of course. This is just my opinion. But from what he's saying, he, that he was being asked about, there was a moment when you pivoted from saying it wasn't going to be serious to a moment where you said it was serious and what caused the pivot. And he said, well, in the past, I wanted to downplay it because I didn't want to cause a panic. And he says he still wanted to downplay it. But let's actually look at the past. Let's, let's time travel. Here we have this MSNBC and this is from April 7th, really early on in the year. This will be a very painful week and next week, at least part of next week, there's a monster we're fighting. But signs are that our strategy is totally working. We're looking to have far fewer deaths than originally thought. And I think we're heading in that direction. And then we can actually go back here for what I think is the most relevant clip. There always has been a possibility. I obviously was concerned about it because I closed down our country to China, which was heavily infected. I then closed it down to Europe. But I'm not going to go out and start screaming, this could happen, this could happen. So, again, as president, I think a president has to be a cheerleader for their country. So I think that's a great point. And if you think about what uh, he's saying here in this clip, he doesn't want to cause a panic. If the president came out and, and said this is massive, this is crazy, it could cause like irrevocable damage to the psyche of people, to the, the nations. We've already seen what the lockdown has done, what it's caused. Perhaps there's some situations of people overreacting, perhaps some situations of underreacting. But causing a panic, like in initially when this first came out, that you couldn't buy toilet paper for a while until the, until the federal government like clamped down on price gougers. But the way I see this whole situation is he's just being honest and explaining that, yeah, I was downplaying it. I prefer to downplay it because and in this clip, he's talking about, again, listen here. It happened, but, you know, there is a possibility. There always has been a possibility. Did you do a memo? I didn't look for I didn't see it. He said, yes, I talked about the possibility of a pandemic. Nobody said it's going to happen, but, you know, there is a possibility. There always has been a possibility. So he's talking about how people didn't know. And there was a lot, it was up in the air, especially in the beginning. And before anyone did anything or even called, even the MSN or even the leftists, the Democrats called anything about pandemic, Donald Trump closed the border to China and he got flack for it. He was called the xenophobe for it. So if we look at this, we can see the, all this. The Trump, here's Nancy Pelosi. The Trump admins expansion of its un-American travel ban is a threat to our security, our values, and the rule of law. Barring more than 350 million people from Predominantly African countries from traveling to the U.S., this rule is discriminatory, disguised as a policy. And here's, a uh, here's another one. As a doctor, I can say there is no reason to avoid any neighborhood because of the novel coronavirus. As a New Yorker, I know that any discrimination is abhorrent and unacceptable. Here's Chuck Schumer. The premature travel ban to and from China by the current administration is just an excuse to further his ongoing war against immigrants. There must be a check and balance on these restrictions. Here's the Washington Post. That's uh, Amazon, Jeff Bezos' newspaper. Get a grip, America. 
the flu is a much bigger threat than coronavirus. For now, coronavirus deniers and hoaxers persist despite dire warnings claiming it's just the flu. Oh, I wonder why they said that, Washington Post. Could it be that you said that? Who says it's not safe to travel to China? New York Times. Mark D. Levine, in powerful show of defiance of coronavirus scare, huge crowds gather in New York City's Chinatown for ceremony ahead of annual Lunar New Year Parade, chance of B-Strong Wuhan. If you're staying away, you are missing out. So uh, you can just see the, the game they're playing here. This is an info war. This is an optics game. They're just gonna, they don't understand nuance, basic nuance. They're just gonna take everything he says out of context. And they're just not gonna, they're not gonna, they don't wanna give him a benefit of the doubt. I think they're really reaching. Like, if they have to pull this clip from March, why didn't Woodward come out with this if he felt at the time that it really was that serious? It's because I don't think he did. I don't think he thought that that was a crazy thing to say. I, I personally agree that the president should be more of a cheerleader for the United States shouldn't be constantly spreading panic and paranoia based on things that could happen. So that's my take on it. You might have a different take on it. I hope I could at least be a little bit informative, show you some things. If you support independent investigative journalism, you check out the description and all that other jazz. Be a good person. Stay vigilant. Take everything with a grain of salt. Call your mom. Peace.